this, this is a homage beat. So we're in the car about eight o'clock. We are on our way to Children's Hospital <laughs> because Adrian decided she was going to stick some paper up her nose and we tried to get it out with the tweezers, we couldn't. So we called our pediatrician and they recommended that anytime like a foreign object goes in the nose and you can't see it anymore, to take them to Children's. So that's what we're doing now. She's acting normal, you know, she's not acting like it bothers her, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Amar. Amar had some violent outbreak, not violent, but very, very emotional, would be a very precise word. Some very emotional outbreaks because, I mean, this is my baby girl. I was just kind of furious, like, it, not only myself as a parent, but like, how did she get that up there that fast? Like, when did she do it was what I was more. Cause we didn't I, even know like, when she did it. Like I just, I was playing with her and I noticed like, hey, you got something up your nose. But it doesn't, like the wind doesn't matter. None of that matters. We just want to make sure that she's okay. And we have to, we gotta look on the bright side. It's just paper too, like. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's nothing. Like it's not gonna be soup like bad because it's not like a bead or anything. It's just a piece of paper. But Wait, this is this is one of the things of being a parent. You, you gotta <laughs> good thing. Good thing Tiffany was watching her. You know, because now we're aware and we can fix that problem. Man, wait. Stuff happens. Stuff happens. It it happens. Stuff just happens sometimes. It doesn't make you like a bad parent. It doesn't make you, it just makes you human. Like nobody's perfect. We're not perfect. We're trying to figure out, you know, the best way to work. raise Adrian. Tell, say hey to the people, Adrian. There's Adrian. She has no idea we're even taking it to the doctor. So I hope she's just sleepy at this point. This is our first time actually having to go to Cheers just together for Asia. I yeah. think the other couple times. Well, she's only went one other time. And that's because she went with the farm when she tricked him into believing that her arm was hurting. Um. <laughs> yeah, um, some positive things. Eh? Positivity is that Adrian is alive, She's okay? Alive. We had a pretty amazing day today, you know? We did. Um, we're not gonna let this ruin our day or our night. We're just gonna learn how to be, you know? Not, we're not bad parents. We're... But we will see y'all when we leave the doctor's office. And we will. About four Red Bulls later. <laughs> Bye. One eternity later. It is 12.04 and we are leaving the hospital. Adrian had a peel, like a sticker peel that you put, that comes on the fruit. That was like rolled up and stuck in her nose. So they had to, first they tried to like. First, no, first, first, first. They had us in there for four hours. I'm think we did get there, at eight, but we're gonna stay positive. We're gonna stay positive, but that is there. So we're gonna stop and get some fries, which we probably don't need. 
Yeah, get the fries. Just to comfort our pain and anguish. Everything so works dramatic. out. Everything works out for you good. Ah, ah. Just, you gotta order like the fudge cakes. Ah. Watch your profanity. Ah, you gotta like drive around. And go drive. I almost got a double cheeseburger. That does sound good. No. Um. So back to the experience at the hospital. Um. First, I tried to like use some oxygen to like subdue it. Tuck it. No. Oh. To push it out on one side, like they put it in the other nostril. I thought it would just shoot out the other side, but that didn't work. So they had to give her this stuff to numb her nose so they can go in there with these long tweezers and get it out. And <laughs> You feel better? Yeah. Yeah. You won't do that again? No. You promise? No. That's the little mask they let her keep that they put over her. <laughs> But Adrian would not go to sleep in that hospital. In that hospital, like she. It would have been so easy if she was asleep. They would have went right in there, grabbed it, and it came right out. I think if she would have went to sleep, it would have made the wait not seem as long as it was yeah. too, because she was just up, like no, crying. No. How she is no, now? That's how no. she was in the hospital. Mind you, it's twelve oh six in the morning. She put to sleep. Oh. Now, let me tell you guys about Amar. What did Amar do? Amar is like, if you know me, you know I'm dramatic. But Amar is more dramatic than I am. Like, who is, who is on the way to the hospital? What are those lights called? My head on the has of a slight on the way to the hospital. <laughs> What are you doing? Daddy. Huh? Oh, what? Daddy. Oh, what? How was your trip to the hospital? Daddy. Oh, daddy. Uh, she says she wants that right there. What is it? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Adrian, are you sleepy? Oh, what? Oh. She said H no. Where did she get her cussing from, Amar? I, I didn't say that. The only curse wow. words I said that she said was <laughs> when I dropped the in life. I dropped the S right. bomb and I dropped the F bomb one time. <laughs> but can I? That was our experience. Um, I would just say, like, if you're going to the hospital, if you're going to the hospital or you have a child who's sick, my advice is just to, for you to stay calm. Just stay as calm as possible, just so your child doesn't panic. panic. Like, if you start panicking, they start panicking. And you want to keep them at least some type of calm. Yeah, you know, just stay calm, really, and take turns watching the child. One person sleeps, the other person's up. Swap, rotate type stuff. But most important thing is just to remember that just because you're having a bad moment doesn't mean your whole life is bad. Yeah. Doesn't mean that God doesn't love you. Just having a bad moment. Just because, because you have a bad, bad moment, moment doesn't mean you're a bad parent. Yeah. yeah. Stuff happens. Stuff happens all the time. All right, Adrian. We put up with that for a long time. All right, we're pretty tired now. Let's see. Um, we'll probably get home by 12:30. Overall, I'm pretty proud of Mark.
Oh, she was getting ready. This nigga can't even take care of the kids. What were you doing? I was, I was tired. It was unexpected. <laughs> but my husband has a problem with staying at fast at 8 o'clock. <laughs> As soon as 8 p.m. hits, he gets so sleepy, and I don't know why. I think it's just the freedom of not having to be at work. Because even when I was at work, I was getting tired at like 8 o'clock. But we're going to head home. And we're going to go to sleep. And we're not waking up until 12 o'clock tomorrow. We're sleeping in tomorrow. We're going to sleep. Whatever Adrian has planned, because I... Hopefully she does sleep in and let us sleep in. But if not, then we'll be oh. back up tomorrow with the camera. With the camera. We'll see y'all later. We love y'all.